Hey, yeah, uh, I've got a Lockwood S Abloy dial combination lock here. And what I'm going to show you today is shimming this open. Now, to do this, you will need to get some proper shims, some proper locksmith shims, like these ones from Sparrows. If you're going to cut out some shims from a, like a, a soda can or something like that, then it's not going to be strong enough. This is made of spring steel, and this particular lock is made with some very good tolerances where things are tight to slip this down and push this locking bar back. For example, you can see how it goes back, and the idea is that we're going to put this shim down it around the shackle and push that back. So you can see that this has a little lip here, is to catch the um, uh, shims so that they can't push it back. And it's like an anti-shimming technique. When this uh, locking bar goes into this slot here, then we're trying to push it back. We're trying to get the shim around here so it can, it get the, the shackle can just slide up. But it's hard to push it back if it gets caught in that little anti-shimming lip. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the side and push it around. But even so, it's going to uh, damage even these proper shims. So if we lock it up, it's all uh, locked up. And so instead of doing the usual down here, we're going to start at the side. And you can see that the, um, I'll just bring it closer. There's not a lot of room. This is quite a well-made lock in that respect. But we only have to shim one side of the lock because it's only locked on this side. It's not a double-sided lock. So pushed it in the side like that. I'm just going to try and um, work it around this way while trying to pull up on the shackle and um, it, it's not easy I'm just gonna I'm lifting that shackle up and down as I'm turning the shim around and pushing down on the shim because it's it's it is not easy but got it okay it, I could open it pretty quick. This shim is uh, getting damaged. I don't know if you can see that the shim's getting damaged. That's one way to get into this lock. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to decode this. So we're going to find the correct combination to get into this lock. Cheers.